What's up guys, this is Cherub with UTP. Today I present you an unboxing of the Tarion DSLR stabilizer. This is the 60 cm version. I tell you because there's another version which is 40 cm only. And I bought it from Amazon, especially the Glux Express shop. So I will show you now how you can buy it. Just open Amazon.com, put inside Tarion, there we will have the 60 cm version. Click it, give it a look, put it in the cart, go through the process and buy it. And yeah, let's get inside. This is what is in the box. We can see it comes with a nice bag, which is on the top. And it's inside with some foam on each side. As I can see, there is no damage. As you can see, it's already mounted and I don't have to mount it myself. But of course, I have to adjust the weights on the bottom to fit it my camera weight. And there is inside also a CD. That's all. Let's give it a look in this bag. There's also some soft patterns here. The bag is completely patterned with some foam and we have something to put it around our shoulders. So this is the uh, DSLR support from Tarion. Okay, so let's get into detail. We have ball bearings inside here. So no matter how we are moving it, the top, the camera will be always smooth. On the bottom here, we have a torque. With this, we can enlarge it until 60 centimeters, it would be like this. Then we can take off the screw here. And we have different uh, weights. There is one thick weight and two small weights. There is a, a optic of uh, carbon. I don't know if it's real carbon, but the feel and the look look a lot like the real carbon. And it's very light. Although it's quite thin, it looks like stable. Then, um, what I saw a lot is that maybe the grip here could fall off. For now, it doesn't look like it would go off directly. It's more or less good fix, but maybe it's, it can move when you use it a lot. So it could be a good idea to put a glue stripe or glue it or do something that it's always fixed. Then we have a plate, so when you want to move it, you have to loosen it here on the bottom with this screw here. With this screw here, we loosen the plate and then we can move it from left to right without it could fall apart. When you unscrew this blue one, then you can move the plate to left and right. We can also get out the plate itself. Then we have to unscrew this screw until the end and slide it inside from side to side. What you maybe also can see, we have two different sizes of screws here uh, for tripods, for example, or for um, video heads. They could have the big one, but the normal version would be the small one. What you can also see here, that there is some is a rubber pad on the top so this also helps that the camera is not moving on the bottom we have also uh, rubber pads and screws to to fix the, um, the weights so i have to say from the material um, i'm convinced it makes a very good impression of the high quality material, the carbon, the metal used, the rubber here, the screws. Maybe this fixing here uh, looks like a bit cheap plastic, but the rest has a very good impression of quality. Okay, so next I would show you uh, some examples what I uh, recorded with this uh, DSLR support. And yeah, if you like it, Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next uh, tech videos here on UTV.